Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And be hanging like a center Hey everyone, my name is Naga Toes Revenge And welcome back to my channel Happy Monday guys Hopefully everyone is doing okay And everyone's staying safe out there But for today's video We're just gonna go ahead And get straight on to the main topic And we're gonna be talking about The latest update for Easy PKG Extractor Which is version 1.03 And I'm gonna be explaining On some of the new features As well as some criteria That I think y'all guys should know Before getting started on this process One thing to note Just like mostly anything Dealing with the PS4 nowadays This is only for firmware 5.0 so if you're trying to do this on firmware is like 6.20 7.02 anything higher than 5.05 um you cannot do this process so make sure your ps4 is on 5.05 i can't stress this enough but for today we're going to be talking about some of the change logs and some of the cool things you can do with the newest version of this homebrew application not only you can um copy slash dump pkg files but you can also copy and dump patches to an external acd device which i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do this today as well as DLC and with this new program for or excuse me this homebrew application it does now support external HDD support what I mean by that is let's say if you had games on an external HD device or you know an external hard drive you could get another external hard drive plug that in and dump your games on that USB so that's pretty cool and that's basically just the major update and right here I will show kind of like the patch logs from Twitter from Lappy so there it is on the screen so when I re did review this project um, I was talking about version 1.01 but for today I decided to do an update video and talk about 1.03 but with that being all out the way as well we're just going to go ahead and get straight into the prerequisites everything i state just like in any of my other videos will be in the link in the description down below including any useful links guides and you know just general um useful information to you so first things first you need a modded playstation 4 that is on firmware 5.05 once again you cannot do this on firmware higher than 5.05 um for today i'll be using the ps 4 r exploit host menu or you can use any exploit host menu of your choice so rather if you're using out azarus um any type of web kit exploit for the playstation 4 whether if you're using an esp device um if you're using you know a web browser exploit from that is hosted somewhere anything that is fine as long as you can run hen on your ps4 you should be good um of course today you'll need easy pkg extractor dot pkg by lappy so shouts out to him and make sure you're on the latest version so if i'm recording this and 1.4 comes out just go ahead and use that version but today we're talking about 1.3 as well you need a usb stick that is either formatted to fat32 or xfat i highly recommend that you have at least 32 gigabytes at minimum for this process and you use a xfat external hcd device the only reason why i say that because ps4 titles are large in size so like stuff like final fantasy 15 grand theft auto 5 there are you know games that are well over 50 gigabytes plus since we're going to be talking about dlcs and stuff uh you should have enough space allocated on your usb um you know before you do this process because if you're using something like a fat 32 usb drive that's like eight gigabytes you're really not going to be dumping that much on your uh you know and trying to back it up unless you're doing like some mini game like a uh, namco classic or something like that last but not least for today's prerequisites you need any ps title that is either installed onto your hdd so your internal one or your external hdd on like you know another device but with that being all out the way we're going to go ahead go to the pc and then the ps4 to get this set up Alrighty everyone, assuming that you guys did follow everything that I had to state in the intro, we're basically ready to go on the PC side of things and then we're going to go follow up with that on the PlayStation 4 side of things. So first things first, what you need to do is in the link in the description down below, there will be a file called EC PKG Extractor version 1.03. I will have that as well in the link in the description as well in a pinned comment so it's just really easy for you guys to see and that's what I'm going to be kind of doing for all of my videos um, going forward since I think it's just, you know, easier method and instead of like just you know searching online i will have every link in my videos just like i do but now it will be in a pinned comment but nonetheless what you need to do is just download that from you know the description and then what you need to do as of right now is plug in a usb device or external hdd so here's mine's right here that it's 500 gigabytes hdd like i stated before i do recommend having like a one terabyte drive a 500 gigabyte drive at minimum 250 um but you want a usb drive that is a least above 32 gigabytes as stated before since ps4 
Horror games are very large in size. Plus, if you're trying to dump DLCs, um, you know, in-game patches, you could be running up at least 100 gigabytes. So right now, what we want to do is go and verify one thing about our USB drive and go into properties and you want to make sure your thing is formatted to fat 32 x fat i do highly recommend to have your thing set up to x fat because if you don't have it to x fat only basically four gigabyte games and lower for fat 32 can be placed on this without being split and that's like a whole nother topic so just to save you guys you know the hassle and you know we're not having any stress make sure your file system's on x fat so let's say your thing's on fat 32 or it's on ntfs i'm going to show you guys right now on how to basically switch it over to xfat so right now let's say you have a usb drive and you have um important data onto it make sure to back it up so be, uh, excuse me because anytime you um, reformat your hard drive or any drive of that matter whether irregardless on your pc or whether it be a ps4 or anything um it will erase all your data so be sure to back it up before doing this process i'm not going to fully do this since i have important data on this usb drive here but i'm going to show you guys basically the general um steps you need to do so first things first you want to go into right click over the usb drive of your choice which mine's just the 500 gig one byte one right here i'm going to go into format and then um it will prompt up the window right here you want to make sure that capacity is the highest size so here's 465 gigabytes you can see here mine is already on x fat but usually it will be default to ntfs so when i first got my usb drive i manually changed it over to x fat um allocation unit size you could put default um volume label this is just the name of your usb drive i just call mine the 500 gigabyte one since i can identify it since i have multiple drives around my house um, and then what you want to do is go ahead and make sure this is toggled on and hit quick format and then hit start and then right here it's just reiterating what I was saying earlier that formatting will erase all data on this drive so be sure once you hit ok um, that will basically reformat it and then it will prompt the new screen that will say that it's on xfat. I'm going to cancel like I stated before since I have important data and I don't want to retransfer over a lot of stuff but once your thing is fully reformatted your file system should be on xfat. So now assuming that either you already have x fat uh you know external HDD device or you just you know did it from what i just said right now what we want to do is go ahead and take easy pkg extractor version 1.03 drag it onto the root of my uh usb i already had it here so i'm just waiting for it to retransfer over and now we're basically done on the pc side of things make sure as well um if i go into properties you have enough free space on your device i have 140 gigabytes and i'm planning on trying to dump uh, grand theft auto 5 so hopefully it'll be enough space for today's guide but make sure if you're doing large games that you have enough space allocated because you don't want to run the risk of you know wasting time of dumping a game and it's not fully dumped and you can run into any issues if you try to reinstall it or you know if you're trying to do other things along in the future but what we're going to do now is go to the actual playstation 4 and i'm going to show you guys on how to get this installed from that side of things Alrighty guys, we're back onto the PlayStation 4 as of right now. Let me just turn my TV down so you won't hear the PlayStation 2 theme. But right now, what we need to do is just go ahead and turn on your PS4 controller. Make sure your external HDD device is already plugged into your PS4. It doesn't matter if which slot you want to plug it in. I'm using my PS4 Pro, so if you have a PS4 Pro like me for this example, you could plug the external HDD device in the back port. Or if you just have a regular PS2, or excuse me, not PS2, but a PS4, you could plug it into any slot of your choice first things first what we want to do is go ahead and run our webkit exploit now i already have one previously installed which i'll show you guys here right now so i'm going to go into my settings user guide user guide and just for this example, as long as you can install Hen or you can use any WebKit exploit of your choice and you can install Hen, excuse me, then you should be fine. If you guys are interested on the PS4R host menu from Leafful, um, I will show you a card right now for that video and you guys can set up via that way. Or you can use anything like Al Azurus DNS. But what I'm going to do now is run Hen 
and once you run hen you normally should get a notification so if you're used to ps4 modding or you know just modding in general with like you know playstation vita and stuff like that you just need to utilize hen and then once you run hen you should be able to run unsigned code so i'm gonna go back into settings right here debug settings go into game package installer and i'm gonna install version 1.03 so it already showed that I already had this installed. So I will hit yes. If it's your first time installing or you're updating the older version of this, just go ahead and hit yes. And then voila, you're done. You should get a notification. And here is easy PKG extractor. So this is what it looks like the revision 1.03, or I should say update 1.03. But notice right here, if you hit L or R1, you can toggle um wherever your games are located so if you had games on your external hdd in my case i don't have any games on my external hdd for this ps4 um but it will scan whatever you have on that drive which is pretty cool but if you hit back onto l1 it will scan whatever you have on your internal hard drive and if you notice right here where it says copy options so in this case i'm going to be doing uh, grand theft auto 5 you can see that i could you know toggle if i want to just you know copy the pkg only copy just the patch copy the dlc or if i want to copy everything which i do want to do for this example what i'm going to do now is just hit x over the thing and basically my game of choice and now what it's going to do is copy the full game to grand theft auto 5 it's going to basically dump the patch and any dlcs i have installed which i believe i don't have any dlcs but i do have the 1.26 version patch for grand theft auto 5 since i was using a mod menu um if you guys are interested on how to mod uh, gta 5 on a 5.05 system i will have a card right now but note for this process um it can take a very long time depending on how large your game is so for example grand theft auto 5 is 42 gigabytes so it will take quite a long time for everything to dump including the actual patch itself so what i'm going to do here is cut the video um i'm not going to make you guys watch through all this and then once it's fully done um i'll showcase that it's finished and then we're going to go to the pc and check if our game has successfully dumped as long with the um actual patches itself so i'll meet you guys back for that process a few moments later alrighty so I'm basically back onto my PlayStation 4 about like 24 hours later not even joking it did take almost a full day for this full game to dump along with its patches plus whatever DLC it had on the actual internal hard drive I'm ready to showcase to you guys on the PC as well on the PS4 that my game has successfully dumped correctly so one thing I do want to state and you know for this process while you guys are watching this video like I stated before depending on how large your game is this may take a full day it may take almost 30 minutes depending on how big your game is so if you had like a game that was under like five gigabytes it shouldn't take more than an hour but if you guys have like a game like grand theft auto 5 plus with patches and stuff um it can take a long time for it to fully dump but once it fully dumps you should see this um, message on the screen where it says copy successful and i'll probably once i edit out this video uh i'll make a little arrow so you guys can see even though it's in the left hand corner but with that being all out the way let's go ahead and exit out of easy pkg extractor um let me go into settings real quick and debug settings and then go into game package installer and if you notice you can see that it dumped the patch right here so this is 1.27 and you can see that grand theft auto 5 the official pkg is here so if you do see your game and it already renamed it plus whatever patches or dlc then you can already tell from your ps4 without even plugging in your pc or excuse me actually plug in your external hdd device on your pc to know that you dumped your game successfully so what i'm going to do now is just go back onto the pc see here and i'm going to show you guys on the actual size that it should correspond to so i know the 1.27 uh update should be over 10 gigabytes in size but the official grand theft auto 5 game it's stated right here is 42 gigabytes so we're going to go ahead on back onto the pc verify that the sizes are the same for the actual package files and then we're going to be done with this video so i'll meet you guys back onto the pc 
Alrighty, so I'm back on the PC as showcased here. What I'm gonna do is open up my file explorer or my folder right here, and I'm gonna go and back into my original hard drive where I dumped my uh, files at. So as showcased here, you can see that I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 patch, and you can see that it's 16.7 uh, gigabytes in size as well. Um, you can see that the game is 41.7 gigabytes. So roughly, if you round it off, it's basically 42 gigabytes. So um, the actual EZP, or excuse me, easy pkg extractor you know did its job in terms of you know listing how large was the actual original file or basically the base version of the game but yeah essentially this is how you dump patches now in this version as well as how to dump your game so let's say if you wanted to back this up on your pc or if you wanted to you know upload this to somewhere or you know on a private server or you know you just want to basically archive your game since let's say you maybe got a new ps4 that is on 5.05 and you wanted to transfer for over all your stuff um this is what basically this method is used for but with that being said hopefully y'all guys did enjoy this video hopefully y'all guys are staying safe out there but with that being said my name is Nagato's Revenge and I'll see you guys in the next one peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace